If you're like me and don't have a planer or a jointer, then pick some hardwood that is fairly straight. It doesn't have to be perfect for this project. If it has minor cupping or twisting, it's easy to take out on the table saw. For these keychains, I used a couple scrap pieces of black walnut and cherry, but you can use whatever hardwood you have. I started by trimming down these strips of hardwood to one inch thick. To see all the cuts and step-by-step -step directions on this project, check out the link in the description below. Next, I cut down these one inch thick strips to 12 inches long on the crosscut sled. 12 inches will make about 20 keychains. I chose three of the strips to make a glue up that is three and a quarter inches wide. After the glue dried overnight, it was time to sand. This belt sander I got from my grandpa really made for quick and easy sanding here, but an orbital sander would have worked great too. I started with an 80 grit and then went to a 120 grit at this point. Next, I took the glue up over to the router table to cut out a dado. If you have dado blades for your table saw, then that would be a great option for this cut too. I'm using a half inch straight bit on the router and I'm making a half inch deep dado about a half inch from one edge. Notice how I make several passes on the router. It's much easier to control the cut when you route around a little at a time. It makes for a much cleaner cut too. The half inch dado wasn't quite wide enough for the cell phone. The dado, it needs to be wide enough for the phone to wiggle around a little bit. So I moved the fence over about an eighth of an inch and I made another pass. There's that wiggle. Next, I popped in a chamfer bit and chamfered all the long edges. Now it's time to go back to the table saw to cut out the keychains. To make holes to attach the keychain, I used this countersink bit. I drilled the hole about a half inch from the edge on one side using the countersink section of the bit to soften up the edge of the hole. Then I flipped the keychain over to soften up the other side of the hole. Next, I used a little 120 grit sandpaper to soften up the sharp edges. For the finish, I sprayed on a few coats of lacquer. Don't be like me and do this on paper. Use plastic instead. After the lacquer dried, I got to sand off all the paper that stuck to the keychains, and then I re-lacquered all of them. Finally, I added these little screw-on keychains I found on Amazon. I got a pack of about 100 of them for 20 bucks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.